video, viral videos online. I think what Donna went through this week was pretty traumatizing. Um, we know that it's them. If we know it represents the minority, and I know this from my inbox, my district inbox, but we don't have the um, counter the, the counter voice at our board meetings right now. Yeah, that's one of the things, and that, that's hard. So you saw the image that I showed of, um, that includes Joey Gibson, and you know, we had Proud Boys, but anyway, it, it was really interesting. You said it's really, it's, I'm actually less fearful, and I don't know about you, Jim, how you feel about this. I am less fearful after having them kind of storm our meeting um, and, uh, than all of, all of the things I've heard about them over the last several years. I mean, they are young, angry men. And they came from Portland mostly. Although I guess we have some in Amazon Washington. And um, and they're not interested in hearing what's happening. So that's why it's so important for community members who really want to know what the, what the equity work is that we're actually doing, uh, that those people speak up. And um, I know it, it's scary for people. There were people sitting in the room in Washington the other night who said they wanted to speak but didn't. Uh, there was one person who spoke up and um, she spoke really brave and so uh, and that's really hard but there are other ways to speak up I think um, I mean I certainly wouldn't be I guess I'll be I'll be frank um, the there's a group in Washougal that is literally taking the names of people who are supporting us and they're doxing them they're going on Facebook and taking screen caps um, so so it is true that if you put your name out there um, it may go out there but but nothing's happening with that, so I guess in the position that you're in, I, I, that doesn't that doesn't seem as bad as it did. Uh, so I, I guess I'm kind of I'm kind of circling around. Yes, we want support. We also understand, I think, why we're not getting it. Jim, do you want to add anything to that? You're you're uh, you're a part one of that proud boy uh, yelling at us, and I was a part two. Yeah, I think um, as as Kyle said. Or somebody, the majority of my inbox is supporter from from teachers, staff, community members. Um, it's a loud minority. I also, I mean, I you know the Proud Boys. I was talking to my sister down in Texas, and I said, "Oh, the Proud Boys came," and she asked us, "You know who the Proud Boys are?" Holy shit! He says, um, "I I viewed it as and this is um, tongue in cheek, but you know I got to laugh it off." Uh, 30-something Asian male identifies as boy, not man as boy, um, comes to me and, and calls me a coward, okay? Name calling, I've started making a list of the names I've been called from this group, these groups, I don't even know who the hell they are. Um, it's, a, it's an expensive list, uh, and I just have to laugh it off. I think they're impotent. I think, I, I wanted, I, I don't know if I have the, the nerve to say this at a meeting, but I'll say it at this meeting. Um, my grandpa taught me boys go out to play and go to work and these boys came to watch to play and taking their viral videos hoping to make a buck on it it's just absurd I don't even know I can't relate I don't understand what's going on um, I don't feel threatened uh, yet um, even though they're trying to be threatening it's kind of comical um but, I, yeah, I don't know. I think, um, for whatever reason, Washougal has become a lightning rod for these particular groups coming to play from Portland. Um, I don't know if they're hoping for pepper spray or what they're hoping for. Uh, but I, I am grateful we have a board president that's a police lieutenant and um, maintains decorum and doesn't let things get out of control blanket game is there shouting out it's like what I realized and I think I will say this in a meeting that I kind of you know I kind of pay attention obviously but my wife thought I had to eat was the anarchists you know going back to, to Wall Street um Occupy Wall Street I thought it was the anarchists these jokers are anarchists they want to just shout things out and, and give up on decorum and civility and I don't you know I'm not sure how that's going to play out um, but I know in our Washougal board, we're, we're unified. I, like Kyle said, I'm grateful I'm not up for re-election because um, it's an ugly environment. Uh, and they'll say anything. Um, and, you know, 
misrepresent. And I, I love the uh, another dude at the meeting last week. You know, challenge us or threaten that we're going to file uh, affidavits. It's like, okay, you've already filed 70 affidavits, meaningless gibberish um, from a kangaroo court. In fact, it's more to the spies. You know, these people have appointed themselves to create their own society. And I, I'm worried about community and society. I'm not particularly worried about the Washougal School District because we're in good hands and we're doing the work we need to do. And, you know, I, I said this at a meeting back in June. Yeah, this equity stuff, I learned it as a kid. I'm 66. I learned it back in the 50s and the 60s from my family about how you treat people with respect. And it gives me gratitude that I had my family and not their families, I guess. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I'm just rambling. But it was a pretty uh, intense meeting. <laughs> I'll say that. Oh, the other thing I want to say, oh, Agent Bale, mid 30 something. Can't tell because he's all in his in his uh, mask, but identifies as boy. Likes to put on little outfits for his friends and go play at the games. So I don't think I'll say that publicly, but um, that's how I felt, <laughs> and it was a bizarre experience. That's all I can say. Um, even more bizarre today when I learned, yeah, probably most of the dudes were at the peak and ready for conflict and. I'm a pacifist, non-violent pacifist. I was not ready for that. Um, and, then, and after the meeting, we went. We had to go into executive session on the personnel issues. They harassed members of the community. Uh, the one woman who spoke up in the last couple of meetings uh, was totally harassed on her way out, out to her car. And I, I worry about that. Um, I hope we don't end up being in a situation where we need uh, law enforcement to be present at the meetings or out in the parking lot. But these jokers, they're coming from Portland primarily. I don't know where they're coming from. And they're, they want, they want viral video. Um, in fact, the whole incident of graffiti our cars, I, it's like, oh, they use chalk paint. Well, who would have known that where I came from? If you're going to graffiti, you use spray paint. You know, it's the performative art of some type to capture a video. It's a, just a whack overall. That's all I can say. Um, anyway, that's why. Okay, thank you. Um, I just think, uh, oh, go ahead. The, we had a, a, an educator, a woman, who came to offer her support of our equity work to the meeting. She's a teacher in the district, a black woman, teacher for 10 years. She um, got up to speak at the um, the intimidation tactics in our meetings are really intense. Um, her photo with her full name at her, uh, the grade at the school she teaches at has been just sent virally over um, the Vancouver School District, just different parent groups. It's been blasted on our county today. So I think one of the other challenges is how do we create safe environments so everyone does feel comfortable to speak at our, be- at our board meetings. Um, a lot of the people that are so vocal in Vancouver are not from Vancouver School District. It's the same small group that's going from Camas to Chugal to Hawkinson to Vancouver, maybe from Portland, and they're exactly, they're performing, they're from trying to intimidate, they're trying to distract. Yet the unfortunate thing is that we're all doing really good work on behalf of our students, but we end up spending a good week rehashing 